Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the traction control cable on your lawnmower, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Note the position of the old traction control cable, if intact. Then remove the nut and washer and slide the brake cable support off of the bolt. Unhook the Z-end of the traction cable from the control bail arm and detach the cable from the support. Now tip the mower on its side. Be prepared for some fuel or engine oil to spill out. Remove the screws securing the belt cover and pull the cover off. Now depress the mounting tabs to release the traction cable from the bracket. Unhook the spring and remove the old cable. Install the new traction control cable by first sliding it through the cable guide. Hook the new spring onto the deck. Then align the cable on the bracket and snap it into place. Reposition the belt cover and secure it with the screws. Return the mower to its upright position. Insert the new traction cable in the brake cable support. and attach the Z-end to the control bail arm. Slide the support onto the bolt. Replace the washer, then thread on the nut. Correctly position the cable and tighten the nut to secure. You're now ready to reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and confirm that the lawnmower is working properly.